Well, let's go ahead and start in a comfortable seat. Feel your sit bones underneath you. Maybe roll your shoulders out a few times. Stretch your neck side to side. And bring your head back to center, but just tuck your chin a little bit. Close the eyes down. And start with a few deep breaths in and out. And let your breath be audible. Something that you can hear that can guide you through your practice and guide you into a more relaxed, present state. And with our chin tucked here, we have an energy lock in our throat. Just as a reminder to use our voice, especially when we're passionate about something or believe fully in something. It's important to voice your opinion, voice what's important to you. And also voice what you want to show up in your life. There's a lot of power behind saying the things that you want. Let's take another deep breath in. And start to lift your head back up. And on the inhale, reach your arms, big stretch. And on the exhale, just walk your hands forward out in front of you. And allow yourself to fold as low as you can. Feel this stretch in your hips, your low back. And slowly start to walk yourself back in. Now we're gonna change the foot and the shin that is out in front. This is gonna be your tight side because it's not natural for you to sit this way. And we'll do that again. So inhale, reach the arms up, exhale, fold forward. Take one more big breath and slowly walk yourself back up. Nice job. Now let's try to stay in this awkward side and reach up and over for a big side stretch. And then we're gonna come up and switch sides. So each movement is with our breath. Inhale up, exhale over. Stretching our rib cage, inhale up, exhale over. Inhale up, exhale over. Now inhale up, exhale all the way over. So you're gonna bring that both hands together. Just tap your fingertips down, open back up and we'll switch sides. Inhale up, exhale. 
Inhale. Exhale. Let's get one more. And back to center, hands onto your knees. Inhale, seated cat cow, open the chest. Exhale, relax and curl. Inhale, open. Exhale, curl. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. And one more inhale. And exhale. Good, sit tall. Reach out of the top of your head, relax your shoulders, open the chest. Take another deep breath and just scan your body. Especially your posture, notice your spine. Hey, let's bring that long spine with us into a tabletop. And take a deep inhale. On the exhale, look over your right shoulder, move your hips to the left. Inhale, center. Exhale, look to the left, hips to the right. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Back to center, deep breath in, deep breath out. Okay, right leg, left arm, same time, reach long. Exhale, curl in, elbow to knee. Inhale, reach. Exhale, curl. Inhale, reach. Exhale, curl. Now inhale, reach long. Bend your right knee, reach back for the foot with your left hand and kick back into this bow pose. If you can't grab your foot, Grab your ankle or your pant leg, grab whatever you can. And if you're still not quite there, then you can just hold this shape, reaching for air. And reach long and relax. And you're gonna move your hips, reset your spine. Now, same time, left leg back, right arm forward. And we're right into it. Curl and reach. One more. Now reach long and bend your left knee. Reach back with the right hand. Breathe in, breathe out. Beautiful, reach long and relax. Good, take a child's pose. Knees wide, big toes touching. Actively reach your arms forward, lower the head down. Let all of your weight sink into the ground, the earth. So we're taking away all of earth out. Um, elements, earth elements with us. Grounding, supportive, cooling, heavy. Look forward 
And let's do some moving cat cow. So bend into your elbows. Inhale, drop your belly, open the heart. Exhale, curl back. Hips to the heels. Inhale, come up. Wave like motion. Exhale, round. Inhale, forward. Exhale, back. Couple more. Now this time, inhale forward, tuck your toes under. We're gonna transition into our down dog. Oh. Take your time here, stretch your legs. Feel free to turn the hips side to side. Walking your feet out. And then find some stillness for about five breaths. Heels down, hips up. Exhale, chest back. Inhale, biceps forward. Exhale, triceps back. Strong through your fingers. Relax through the head. Take a breath in and a breath out. Lift your heels high, bend your knees, look forward. Hold this hover. You got it. and start to walk forward. Feet up to the hands, halfway lift. Exhale, fold, grab opposite elbows. Hang heavy. Little bend in the knees, curl yourself up to standing, release your arms and then swing them out and up overhead and grab back into that cradle. Sneak your head through your ears by your biceps. And then let's stretch over to the right side. Back to center. Inhale. Exhale over to the left. And come back to center. Release the arms and bring the hands behind the back. Interlace your fingertips. Squeeze your shoulders. Open your chest. Now start to draw your belly up and in. So engage your abs and then sink into a chair pose. Hips way back, knees in line with your ankles. Opening the chest. Go ahead and release your hands. We're going to bring left forearm across the lap, right hand flat on the back. The twist. Keep your knees and hips even as you turn the chest open. Good. Let's switch sides. Hooking with the right arm across the lap. Left hand flat on the back. Good. 
Uh, release the sides, straighten the legs, relax and fold forward. Now let's step our right foot back from here and come into a lunge. We're gonna pulse our hips up and down. Feel into the legs. Bend and straighten your left knee. And then hold your lunge. Bring your hands up to the front thigh. Start to lift your chest into crescent lunge. Feel that stretch in your right hip flexor. Open your chest and let's cactus the arms for even more heart opening. Deep breath in, exhale, hands down. Step back for your plank. Now you can take your traditional vinyasa, chaturanga to upward facing dog to down dog, or go back to your child's pose. Send your hips back. Inhale, pull yourself up to that cow posture. And then exhale, tuck toes and press back to down dog. Yogi's choice there. Take a deep breath in and a deep breath out. Let's lift the right leg high. Three-legged dog. Get that great split stretch through your thighs. And then exhale, bend your right knee and step in between your hands. Might need to help your foot out there. And we're in lunge, pulsing up and down. One more time. Hold your lunge, hands up to the front thigh. Peel yourself up and reach the arms. So find your breath. We talked a little bit about voice at the beginning of class. Notice what that inner voice is saying to you throughout class. And we always have the choice to change that voice if it's not serving us. Cactus your arms. Take a deep breath in and exhale, hands down. Step back for your plank and take your vinyasa. Meet back and down dog. Other side, lift your left leg high for split stretch. Try to keep your shoulders square. Breathe into your right leg. And step your left foot through. Now adjust your feet for warrior one. Turn your back heel down. A little bit wider base so you can keep your hips facing forward. They feel really strong through your lower body. Then bring hands behind the back, open your chest. Take a deep breath in and exhale, bow forward on the inside of your left leg.
Okay, slowly start to lift your chest. We're gonna bring left forearm onto the left thigh and reach right arm up and over. Scoop the left hip, just like extended side angle. Your feet may feel a little different, but that's okay. As long as you feel grounded through the feet. Take a deep inhale. And then exhale, pull yourself up. Now adjust your feet into your warrior two. Now your feet are in a long line together. Reach the arms. And then inhale, reverse warrior. Left arm high. Keep that strong bend in your left knee. And transition to a uh, triangle. So straighten your left leg, hinge forward, long stretch, and lower down to the shin. Reach your right arm high. Feel all the stretching. Good, now release both hands down. Lift your back heel, step back for your plank and flow through your choice. And we'll meet back and down dog. Just taking a few extra breaths in down dog. Find your breath again. Enjoy the stretch. Then lift right leg high, open the hip, bend the knee this time. All right, step that right foot through, maybe a little wider for warrior one. Plant your back heel, ground through the feet, and then rise up. Actively press your back heel into the ground. And then hands behind the back, opposite pointer finger on top. Inhale, open and hold. And gaze up. Take a deep inhale and exhale, bow on the inside of the right leg. Good. slowly come up and then bring right forearm onto your right thigh, reach left arm up and over. Scoop the right hip, get long through the left side. Feel that stretch in your left lower back. Then pull yourself up to standing and adjust your feet for warrior two. So your front heel is in line with the middle of your back foot. And we'll hold warrior two. Make sure your right knee is facing forward in line with your toes. Squeeze your back leg straight as you reach the right arm high, reverse warrior.
Come up, straighten your front leg. Hinge forward for triangle. Reach, reach, reach. And then lower to the shin. Extend the left arm straight up. And breathe into the space. And the triangle is a symbol of balance. Release hands down top of mat. Set back for your plate and flow through. Once you're in down dog, move your feet back together, take a couple of deep breaths. And lift your left leg high, open the hip, bend the knee. And on the exhale, step with your left foot first when it starts to come up to the top of the mat. You take as many steps as you need. Wrap your arms around your legs. Feel the comfort of forward fold. And then bend the knees, slowly come up to standing. Okay, let that head rush come back down. And we'll work on our single leg Tadasana. So single leg mountain pose, you're gonna shift weight into your left leg and pull your right knee up. You can hold it at 90 degrees. You could try to grab the knee and squeeze it up and into the chest, which is a great stretch for the low back. You can also move off your mat here if you're feeling wobbly today and need support of the wall or the chair. Let's take a couple more breaths, just growing tall out of that left side. And then you can release. And ground through the right side. And we'll pull the left leg up. And make sure you don't hike your hip up with the leg. We wanna keep the hips even. So you'll probably wanna think left hip down. Right hip just maintains that sturdy, neutral position. So the pelvis is parallel with the floor. Good, release that side. Nice job. Okay, now back to the first side. We're gonna grab right knee with right hand. And open and close. Everything else stays still besides the right leg. And when you pull it back to center, switch your hands and twist right arm back behind you. Look down for balance. 
Come back through center, release. Left hand to left knee. Open and close. Pull it back to center, switch your hands and twist. Doesn't have to be a hard twist. They can be soft. Back to center and release that side. Shake it out. Okay, let's do one more balance pose with our airplane, or you can work on your warrior three, a little more challenging. So step in the middle of your mat, give yourself a little space in front of you. We'll step the right foot back, a little bend into the left knee, reach that right leg back behind you. You can have arms out by your sides for airplane or reach the arms all the way forward for warrior three. So try to get yourself parallel to the ground. Long spine, long legs, active arms even hips. Uh, we'll come up and switch side. Left leg back, little bend in the right knee, lift off and we'll reach. Warrior three, reach the arms forward. If you want that challenge today, keep inner spiraling your left thigh. Low back is flat. Good, slowly come up, Ooh, relax. Let's just take a few deep breaths, eyes closed. Notice how you feel. Okay, now go wider with your feet, about as wide as your mat. And we inhale, sweep your arms up overhead. Exhale, fold forward over the legs. Inhale, halfway lift, lengthen. Exhale, bring your, bring your hands down. Take a big step back with your right foot. And we're gonna come into a runner's lunge. So. Bend into your left knee. And I'm going to give you the option here. You can keep that back knee lifted. Look forward and just stretch into that left hip. So this is the more active lunge. Or you can lower that back knee down and you know, relax into it. Let your hips drop. Don't be afraid to move that left knee in and out and massage your left hip glute. So good for the low back. Now, either way, back knee down or back knee up, bring your left hand to your left thigh and turn your chest. You can also try both lunges just to see how they feel. Remember, don't 
Yank yourself into twists. Just let yourself be where you are. Doesn't have to be so forceful all the time. Okay, release your left hand back down. Now do lower that back knee if it's not already. And let's straighten the left leg. Keep your um, leg, your foot wide. And you're gonna reach your arms forward. And stretch that left hamstring. Good, all right, come back into your lunge. You're gonna lift the back knee and take a big step forward, out wide again, halfway lift, lengthen out the spine. And reset here, catch your breath, and we will switch sides. Left foot back, sink the hips, hold. I'm gonna keep the back knee up just for a few breaths. If you're ready to lower it down, that is perfectly fine. So long line of energy. Okay, keep working that right hip crease. Moving the knee. Now right hand to the right thigh, turn the chest. Option to lift the knee again. And release and straighten the right leg. Feel down, toes up. Release, slide that right foot back this time and take a puppy pose. So hips will stay over the knees. Drop your chest, stretch the arms. See if you can bring your forehead onto the mat. And lift your head and look forward. Keep stretching through the arms and the spine. And then come down to your forearms. So we're on our hands and knees. If you need a little more support and release your fingertips, so they're making a little teepee or you can keep your hands, your palms planted at um, making that number 11 or goalpost. All right, so we're going to work on dolphin. Great shoulder strengthener. So tuck your toes under and lift your hips, just like down dog on your shoulders. Keep breathing, you got it. Three, two, 
And one, lower to the knees and take a rest. And now we'll move into forearm side plank. So I'm gonna to go to my left forearm first, just so I can face you. And we'll obviously do both sides. So you can come from the knees or you can extend that top leg. And I'll show you how to get into that full side plank too. All right, so we're gonna lift up, taking our variation. If you're stepping all the way back, you can stack or stagger the feet, reach your top arm and breathe. Almost there, here for three, two, and one, nice job. Come up, switch sides. Right forearm down. Lift your hips. Do the same variation you did on the other side. Almost there, three, two, and one, relax. Great, all right, so swing forward. You want your feet out in front of you. You can bring your hands back behind you. And we'll move into Reverse tabletop. I like fingertips facing, but whatever works best for you and your wrists. Feet are hip width distance apart. On the inhale, lift your hips. Reverse tabletop. Hold here. Five. Keep that long, even table, knees, hips to shoulders. Go ahead and then relax. Find your sit bones. You can stretch your wrists out here for a second. And then we'll move into our boat pose. So find your balance, lift your feet. Either hold on to your legs or you can release. Keep your chest lifted. You can work on straightening your legs more. Feel this in your abs. Three, two, and one, release it down. Now bring your right shin forward and you're gonna tuck your left knee and foot back behind you. Okay, so it's kind of like a figure four variation or not figure four, um, our pigeon. Pigeon variation. So lean forward over that right hip and over the right shin. You might even be able to come all the way down to your forehead. <sighs> really good for the low back and hips. Breathe.
pull yourself up. We'll switch sides. Left shin out in front, you'll get a little better view on this side. So we're tucking that right foot and the right knee. I just kind of adjust until you wanna to try to get both sit bones down. It's okay if that right hip is lifted a little bit, just if you're tight, but we definitely want the left sit bone to be down. And we're gonna lean forward. And stretch our second side. Bring yourself back up to seat. And we'll swing that right foot forward. All right, so let's work on some pelvic curling. So sit up nice and tall. Exhale, curl back. Inhale, lift. Exhale, curl. Okay, if you want it to be harder, release your legs and have your arms up. And then you can also work on going lower, pause, coming up. Try to make it all nice and smooth. And notice if you get stuck, that's where you need to work. Okay, let's come all the way down onto our backs with our head and shoulders lifted and then bring the legs up to tabletop. The knees are right over your hips. Good. Keep yourself lifted. And we're going to extend the left leg and then extend the right. And you're gonna switch side to side. Now you can start hugging that knee in closer. And remember, you wanna hide the foot behind the knee. You don't wanna see your toes. Three, two, and one. Good. Release your feet down. I'm going to grab a pillow just for my neck. And so my head and my chest are a little elevated. If you feel comfortable laying flat on your back, you can. Or you could also hold on to the back of your head with your hands. Now we're gonna bring our legs back up to tabletop and do alternating toe taps. So right toes down, then left toes down. Breathing each time, eight, nine, and 10. 
Good, okay, feet down, relax. Arms down by your sides, curl your way up into a bridge, roll it back down. Tucking the pelvis, lift and relax. Uh, one more time. Done. All right, so now keep that neutral spine. Bring your legs back up. Now your option to do crossovers or you can just keep your head down like I'm going to. So we're just gonna extend right leg, extend left. So it's basically like your bicycling back and forth. And if you wanna add your crossovers, the opposite elbow is coming into the knee. If you want it to be easier, go higher up to the ceiling. If you want it to be harder, then go lower towards the ground. Good, here for five. Four, three, two, and one. Feet down and windshield wiper your knees side to side. And come back to center and lift your hips a little bit. You're gonna bring your hands under your butt and under your low back. And we're gonna work on reverse crunching. So legs are in tabletop, reverse crunch. You're gonna to try to lift your hips and lower back down. The higher you go, the more you're working. And you can also tap your feet all the way down to the ground, bring them back up. Okay, that's more work. Or you can just do really gentle, barely lifting off, just a little kick. Five, four, Three, two, and one. Okay, hug your knees in wide, like up towards your armpits. Breathe into your hips, your low back, and move those knees out and in. So like away from you and then towards you. Good, and then kick your legs up like you're doing legs up the wall. Flex your toes, point your toes, flex and point, roll the ankles. Good. All right, now you can stay here and relax or get 10 more crunches. If you want some more ab work, you're gonna bring your arms or your hands up. You're gonna reach for your toes and lower back down. So do that 10 times or just relax here and feel your legs start to drain out any tension, stress. If you're crunching, try to exhale every time you come up. And once you finish your 10, you can come into just relaxed position, legs up the wall. Good. 
Okay, and then let's do a quick figure four. Right ankle to left thigh. Breathing here. And bring your legs back up the wall. And then switch left ankle, right thigh. Release the side. You can lay flat on your back. You can keep your knees bent, let them fall in on each other. Or you can also lay on your side. Feel your mind, your body, and your spirit all connect. Yoga gives us the gift of presence. Really notice and feel what's happening, what's really happening. Not past or future, but present moment. And our mind easily drifts out of the moment. So don't judge it, just bring yourself back. And enjoy the moment you have right now. Wiggle fingers and toes. And small movements with the body. And bring yourself up to a seat. Beautiful practice. Thanks for being here with me. I hope you feel better. Namaste.